Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'll be showing you 10 useful tips and tricks that you can use in game. So yeah, I hope you enjoy and let's get right into it. The first one is going to be that you do not lose fall damage if you jump into a bush from like really high up. Okay, let's see. Don't tell me I just messed up. Um, okay, so. You see that? I did not lose any fall damage. Absolutely none. From that height, I jumped down and no fall damage. That's pretty useful if you don't have any. Um, or if you don't have any mats or something left in a game. So I'll show you again. From dropping and no fall damage that is a pretty cool trick okay for so for the next trick is that you can you can um, open a door while charging a shotgun so I'll show you so I'll edit a door yeah and then I'm gonna charge a shotgun and then open it and I can still shoot see that so I'm just there like so and then charge my shotgun and open the door and I'm still charging you see and close it and open it that is a very useful trick as well I, I like it I don't really use charges but it's useful okay so for the next trick is the instant reload glitch so I shoot off like Oh, sugar. Okay. So. Okay, so I have one bullet left, right? At the moment. And I'm going to drop it and pick it up again. And as you see, it is fully reloaded and I keep shooting. So that is a really cool trick. I'm sure most of you already know this one. So yeah. That's also a good trick. Okay guys, so for this trick, kind of this phasing trick, so just kind of stand, if you're in a one by one and a, someone is um, in front of your one by one, kind of stand in the middle of your box and then um, build a ramp. As you see, I am phasing through it and edit. Then can you stand in front of the window? And then, as you see, I just hit her, like that, and 133. So like that, that's actually a really handy trick. So, as you saw, I kind of phased through. And just, like that, and I could charge my shotgun as, as you see, I saw them right, like that, I could shoot through the edited vi window like that and hit them a really cool trick I've used it in box fights before and actually killed Cormac with it and so yeah that's a really helpful trick so for this trick if you need easy rotation and uh, arena end games or like competitions and stuff just like box up right beside a whirlpool and then put a pyramid and edit edit the pyramid like um, that like into a ramp then put um, a floor there and just break this and then you can just hop into the whirlpool and it's a very short pad or you can do the exact same thing but if you want to go a bit further please don't put me up into the air oh my god it doesn't matter If you want in, um, a bit uh, a bit of a longer short path, not just longer, just put on a cone, edit that, like that, and then you can just hop into the whirlpool, and it's still a short pad, it just it brings you further. That's an easy rotation type of, um, yeah, easy rotation if you don't have a launch pad. So yeah, 
a really useful trick. Okay guys, wait, let me just... Okay guys, so for this trick, you're going to just throw... Uh, also, another one for easy rotation, and you're boxed up. You're just gonna want to box up and then edit your cone. Then if you have crash pads, throw the crash pad. And it doesn't bring you far, but like it, it, it doesn't bring you as high as a normal crash pad would, which is kind of shoot you forward. And then for another one, you can also just, to, I'm just gonna do it above because I don't want to go flying over. Oops. No! Oops. Okay. And then you're gonna want to put a floor like that and this is going to give you an even shorter rotation uh, okay that was a bit that was not far enough so just like that that's also just a really really short rotation and then yeah that's also really useful okay so for this trick guys you also need to use crash pads it's it's a way to get into a person's box. So what you want to do is kind of aim your crash pad to kind of the top of your box and the of the teammate or your enemy's box and just throw it. Wait. So just kind of uh, aim it like this and I'm kind of like, and, and as you saw, it literally just shot me right into the box. So it's a really cool way to get into a box. It's I absolutely love the trick. So as I, you saw, I literally just threw, kind of aimed the crash pad into the center of the box, out of the wall, and then kind of keep pressing the forward walk, or just keep walking forward into the wall. The crash pad kind of bounces back behind you, and it goes f and kind of explodes or expands behind you, and it shoots you into the box. It's a really handy trick. I absolutely love it. Okay, so for this um, trick, guys, this if a got a per um, someone's pressuring your box, um, wait till he's hit it twice. So hit it twice there, mate. As you just saw, Maeve hit it twice, and I shot, and it ca the bullets kind of phased through the wall, and it hit her. Now I did. I built that with wood. Okay, so for this guys, it I'm gonna do it as it's this exact same thing. Just uh, that this time I'm boxed up in a brick. So um, to wait till the um, person has hit your box twice, hit it or three times. This hit it three times for if you have it in a brick and hit it twice in a wood. So hit it three times there, Maeve. So three yeah. So one, two, three. Boom, as you saw, that exact same thing happened. It kind of bullets phased through the wall, just this time you have to, the, the, the enemy had to hit it three times because the brick wall has more health than the wooden wall. So, and now, yeah. Okay, so in a metal box, if, so, if you're in a metal box and someone's pressuring your wall, the wait till the opponent hit um hit wait sugar just stand right in front of the box here yeah wait till your opponent has hit your wall four times stand still please wait just wait till your opponent has hit your wall four times so that you can um because then again metal box is more help the, uh, than a uh, brick or a wood, so wait till your opponent hits it four times. So let's see. Um, Maeve hit it four times there. Three, four, boom. And as you saw, it worked as well. Just you have to hit it four times. So in a metal box, wait till they've hit four times. 
in a brick box, wait till they've hit three times, and in a wooden box, um, wait till they've hit it twice. And then as you, the bullets just will phase through the wall, and you've seen what happens. It's a really handy trick, and I absolutely love it. Okay guys, so for the final trick, you'll need the shockwave launcher and the shotgun, or, well you don't need, really, you just need to have the shockwave launcher, and then build one, um, kind of one tile, or, yeah, one tile forward and then a wall, one floor forward and a wall, and shoot your shockwave back, and I've complete, I've, I phased right into the thing, and then just shoot them. This is my teammate now, because I had, had to do, I didn't want to do it on a real person, because I didn't have anyone, so, that's how it works though. So hope you all enjoyed guys. And I'll see you in the next.